Hello, today we're going to talk about vermicompost and why it is such a complete organic fertilizer that you can add to your garden and feed your plants. The benefit of vermicompost really comes from the fact that you're working with living ecosystems. You're working with microorganisms, you're working with enzymes and minerals inside of a system where they are interacting with each other, affecting each other in a process that releases fertility. Vermicompost is manure produced by composting worms and it's a material that you can easily create at home. In contrast to regular thermophilic compost where you heat up the pile, you turn it regularly, in vermicompost you are avoiding thermophilic compostings and you have a lot of life. You have worms, you have microorganisms, fungi and a wide range of other entities living, thriving, dying and reproducing inside of your composting system. When it system. comes to plant nutrition there is two main groups of nutrients. You have your macronutrients and you have your micronutrients. The macronutrients, those are the heavy heaters. Those are the types of nutrients that your plants really need a big quantity in order to build their structures, thrive, reproduce, and produce fruit. When we talk about micronutrients, we're talking about trace minerals. These are minerals that are essential to plant development, but you only need a very small amount and they're usually already present in the soil. In addition to the minerals and basic nutrients, vermicompost has an added value of microorganisms such as protozoans, bacteria, and fungi. It is the microorganisms in the vermicompost will really do a lot of the work in terms of breaking down complex molecular structures to release fertility within your system. They transform those essential minerals that we just talked about into a format that is easily accessible to your plants. When you buy rock dust or other mineral supplements in the store, they usually tell you, you have to add these in the fall before the growing season when you're hoping that these minerals will be available to your plant. So you're gonna add it in your soil in the fall with the hope that the microbial life in your soil is going to work on those minerals, activate them, and transform them into chemical compounds that will be available to your plants later on. Vermicompost doesn't require that because in the composting system, you already have the enzymes, the microbial, and the minerals are working together. So the result, what you get at the end, is already plant ready. The other benefit of microorganisms is that they outcompete a lot of the pathogens. So the pathogens are not going to have such an easy access to your plants because there is already a lot of soil biology coming in in the form of vermicompost. Vermicompost is rich in enzymes. And that is one of the things that makes vermicompost different from regular thermophilic compost. And the enzymatic content of your vermicompost is directly related to the presence of microorganisms and worms. Enzymes are proteins and they're produced by microorganisms in order to break down complex molecular structures that both microorganisms and worms can digest. Inside of your composting system, enzymes are breaking down plant material, also known as the food scraps that you added, into basic elements that can be digested by all the different organisms within the system. What is happening inside of your vermicompost system is that you're taking organic material in the form of food scraps, which is very unstable, think rotten in food scraps, and the worms and the microorganisms and the enzymatic activity inside of your vermicompost is going to transform that material into humus. Humus is a more stable format of organic matter. Vermicompost is very rich in humus. Humus is a substance that we often associate with very dark, rich, and fertile soils. Humus is responsible for also helping the soil structure, helping form really good soil aggregation. It increases the water holding capacity of the soil. It also increases the porosity of the soil, allowing water and air to flow through. Matter. Humus will further decompose into complex molecules that will resist decay and are chemically stable. And these molecules is what we know as human, humic acid, and fulvic acid. 
if you're getting value out of this video, please click like and subscribe to my channel so I can bring more content to you. Vermicompost is rich in humic and fulvic acid. These are substances that are essential for your plant's nutrition. Humic acid actually works like highways that allow nutrients that are not right next to the plant to come closer to the root level. And then fulvic acid, because there are smaller molecules that are soluble in any kind of pH, they are actually responsible for grabbing the nutrients and bringing them inside of the plant. So humic acid is your highway system and the fulvic acid are your truck fleet delivering the nutrients right inside of your plant. So let's take a moment here and recap. In vermicompost, you have the key nutrients, the microorganisms that help break down those nutrients into elements that are easily accessible to your plants. And then you have the transportation system, including the highway, which is the humic acid, and also the fulvic acid, which is a truck fleet, which is grabbing those nutrients and taking them directly inside of your plant. Another interesting characteristic of humic acid is that it will lock heavy metals and prevent them from entering your plants. So if you're working with soil that has some level of pollution or contamination, adding organic material, adding vermicompost because of the high content of humic acid will help to prevent those heavy metals to enter your plants. So it's keeping toxicity away from your plants at the same time that it's making the good nutrients, the good minerals readily available. In nature, when you have a function as important as transporting nutrients from the soil to the inside of a plant, you have multiple entities, multiple systems supporting that function. So fungi, bacteria are also helping the roots of the plant go out and grab nutrients and bringing them in, in addition to the activity that is being caused by humic and fulvic acid. So think about it in these terms. What are the pivotal functions in your system, in your life? What are the things that definitely need to happen in order for you to keep on going? Let's choose income. My job is my primary source of income. If my job goes, then I'm going to have to find another job. Because when I think about creating resiliency in my system, what I need to start figuring out is multiple sources of income because that will make my system stronger and more resilient because I'm not depending on one thing to fulfill that key function. In nature, it is the same. That's why in nature you find multiple elements, multiple systems supporting the same key functions that are pivotal for that ecosystem to keep on going. Think about your vermicompost system as a structure, as the stomach of your garden where you can add different inputs in order to improve the quality and the diversity in the chemical compounds that you get on the other end. So for example, if I want to increase the level of phosphorus in my garden, I will start to think what are the different phosphorus supplements that I could include as part of the process of feeding my worms in order to get more phosphorus at the other end. Oftentimes you can actually use your composting systems as a way to pre-digest a lot of the supplements that you add into your garden because then you have a situation where you have enzymes, you have microbia, and you have different microorganisms interacting, transforming, and really affecting those elements. So by the time they get to your plants, they're gonna be in a form that is easily absorbed by their tissues.